In this iColorama procedural, we'll be creating a old 45 single. I start off by working on a green background. I don't like working on a white background. Then I'm going to use a circle mask to try and create a black disk. So I insert the circle, I get rid of the blur radius, and I invert the mask so the black's on the inside. I apply that. Then I move the circle slightly in to start my track. I, my track is created with both effects noise, number four, where I adjust the step and the size slider just to get a good contrast. Then I apply that and go to effects blur number eight, which is a circular blur and I have to move the direction all the way to one side to get that circular blur that I'm looking for. I adjust it back a little bit and I apply that. Now I'm ready to set the end of the track. So I move in with my circle and go back to preset gradient and select a black uh, gradient to put in the middle. Next I'm going to want to put a highlight on this. It makes it look more realistic. So I swap or invert the circle and go to a brush tools and pick out the dodge tool which lightens an area. I pick out a nice soft brush and make it as large as I can. And then I have to turn off the mask because I need to brush on the screen and I don't want to move the mask. And then I make a quick swipe across it. Don't let it, your finger stay in one place or else you get too much highlight. I apply that, turn back on my mask and invert it back to the middle because now I'm going to make my label. I bring the circle in for the label. And this time instead of using a plain gradient I'm going to use a circle gradient that radiates out from the center. Now I don't like the orange, so I'm going to move the colors around within that gradient until I have a good uh, color that I would like. The orange in the center is going to be taken out by the hole in the center of the uh, disk. So I apply that and then finally move the circle in and this time I'm going to apply a preset gradient, but I'm going to use the color picker to pick out the same color that I have for the background. I apply that and I can get rid of the circle mask now. I no longer need it, so I tap remove and then get rid of the mask. The next thing I want to do is put in the little uh, converter in the center that converted the 45s to 33. I do that with effects blend and I've got that right there. I go into settings and move the right end of the gray slider to drop out the white. And then I zoom in to help me place the converter correctly within the center here. It takes me a while to do that, so let me tell you what I'm going to be doing next. First of all, I'm not going to be applying text. That's uh, It's possible in iColorama, but it's probably better to do it in a uh, you know, a text pro app like Fonto or Over. And then I want to be able to put this uh, single onto a different background and give it a shadow. And to do that, I'll have to create a mask. So I've applied my converter in the center, the yellow converter, and now it's time to make the mask. Masks are made with white and black. White conceals changes, black reveals changes. So I'm going to go into brush mask and hit limits over on the right end and then start painting in around the sides. I have to be very careful or else some of that white will bleed over into the disc itself and I have to discard and start over again. So I very carefully go around the edge taking out just the green with white. work my way around the edges 
I'm doing this with my finger rather than a stylus, which makes it a little more difficult. When I have completed there, then I have to go and remove the green from the center. So I zoom in, and then I start working on the center, making sure to touch just the green area. I have to work all the way around, and you'll see later on, in just a couple of seconds here, when I finish my mask, that it looks like it has actually gotten all the white, all the green area covered with white, um, but there's a slight imperfection here that really doesn't matter in the final product. When I get all the white set, then I apply that, and then I invert the mask and apply black to the area that's not white. And once I've done that, I can save that mask. And then I realize that I have not saved the original disk. So I go back to steps, go back in history to where it was just the disk with the converter, and I save that off as well. Now I'm ready to start with a new background. And I do that by using Effects Blend and picking something from, well, I did not need to go into presets at all because I'm going to stick with normal. And then I go into te my textures and I find one that looks like um, a fabric, like a bedspread or something. So I overlay the entire area, apply that. Now I'm able to bring in my disk using Effects Blend. but I can mask out the green background by pulling in the mask. I apply that. And then I remove the mask and then go to Shadow and it asks you for another photo. You want that mask photo again. It masks the shadow to the center, the inside of the black, and you tap Invert to make it go to the outside of the black change your opacity and your X and Y, and you're done. You're ready to save.